Hey there, survivors, it's Razius, and this is Ark Survival Evolved. Today, the new patch is released, 236, with the beaver and the handcuffs, and that's hello. So, hopefully your day is going good. So, I was making this video to go over that patch update and possibly go beaver taming today. So, I hope you guys enjoy and come along for the ride. We will open up this episode with the video of the beaver. So, give me just one sec while I load that up. And you'll have my live response to it as well, so. Casteroids. Good for swimming. And from what I read, they are the, one of the best uh, wood hunters now found around lakes and very rarely you'll see their dams as well since larger predators go after them all the time. Pretty aggressive with their dams. There's the handcuffs. It looks like they go in front and not behind like traditional handcuffs. So. Uh, I don't know where we're going to go with the handcuffs, but that was pretty awesome. So, and we're back. Hmm. So, I have already learned the Ingrams. It is 50 Ingram points to learn the saddle, and I can't remember the handcuffs. So 16. And I don't know what level you get them at. The um, stuff hasn't been updated, and I was already max level, so... I can't help you with that much, but I do apologize. Um, based on this, however, and with a low Ingram count, I would assume you get it pretty early since you can get the wooden cage pretty early. So there is that. Um, Casteroids are pretty high level. They need to be in the smithy. And they take a lot of points. They take 50 points to make and a lot of resources at the same time. So let's go ahead and check that out. I haven't made one yet, so you can make one with me. Handcuffs first. You'll need 50 metal ingots, 10 cementing paste, and 5 obsidian. It looks like they are a little bit more metal-esque than the wooden ones that the video kind of described. So there is that. And then your Castoroid saddle, which is the beaver saddle, is 290 hide, 200 fiber, 100 metal ingots, 180 thatch, and 140 cementing paste. Uh, that is pretty heavy duty, if you if I do say so myself. Quite more than the spinal and or the rex, and it takes both of them, short of the crystal, obviously, and the pearls. But that is still a pretty hefty saddle right there. So let's go ahead and get that started. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and grab the handcuffs. We have that as well. I have my new Mastercraft long neck, which has its trank darts ready to go. Okay, and I kind of leveled, uh, positioned some stuff here, so there is that. Let me go ahead and reposition my mic a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's go beaver hunting. Mm -hmm. Looks like my dragon's starting to lay eggs. Okay, come on, Emerald. Let's go find us a beaver. They are herbivores, so they take berries. And they're supposedly, as I stated before, one of the best wood gatherers. Once we have one tamed, I will check off the dossier so we can go through that as well. Um, I would assume they're in water areas, however on Valhalla I'm not so certain since they're so new. I don't know if they have their own dedicated spawn points in Valhalla yet, so we might have to cut that and check on that real fast and do a little bit of research because I'm not so certain. Okay. Well, once I find one, I will bring you guys back. And we're back and we found one. And it doesn't look like they're very big, but from the video, I thought they would be in more groups. This one is fairly solo in a river. So, okay. And it looks like it's just wandering around a little bit, kind of gathering its stuff together. 
I did have to re-destroy world. Ooh, wrong, wrong weapon. So let's go with no. Uh, four. There we go. Okay. So let's see if it gets aggressive. Looks like it does, and it's very fast runner. Surprisingly enough. Very, very fast. Uh, looks like it doesn't take much to knock it out, though, with the Trank Dart, so... Level 32. Um, let me go ahead and get this trained up, and I'll bring you guys back! Welcome back, survivors! It's a dawn of a new day. I had to tame this thing all through the night, but... And it's still only about halfway, but I did do a little bit of research and I noticed that it took Gallimimus Kibble to actually tame it. So I went and grabbed some. And with that, it increased it quite a bit. So we are just waiting a little bit longer. And then you'll be able to see how high it's going to go there. I did also a little bit of other research where... Um, Items on the Castroid, stone, thatch, and wood, is actually reduced 20% of its natural weight when on a player. So, that is very good to know. And it also acts as a mobile crafting station, or a mobile smithy, rather, and you can actually make all your items on it. So, we'll do quite a bit of testing on this. And one more bite, and it should be completely tamed, and we can start that testing. Okay. So until then, let's just run around a little bit and see what we can find. Just do a little bit of killing. Go to death. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so that should be tamed up any minute. There's my Stargate. We're next to the Valhalla boat on the river. I don't know if it's a natural spawn or if it wandered, but... It's one that I could find after a little while searching, so. And that first one didn't register. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get back over here. Do, do, do. One more bite. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. That's a female, so it's a sweetheart. Okay. Tame. You're hungry. You're hungry. Tame. Come on. Come on. And coming up, I'll be redoing another raft building, so look forward to that, as well as... My series that has four episodes in it, the server didn't have as many people as they claimed it would have, so I moved on to one of the primitive official, the primitive plus official servers. So look forward to that series coming out. Um, leveling will be a lot slower, so it'll be a much longer series since it, everything is vanilla as far as uh, gather rates and everything like that. So everything will be much slower and much more in depth, I would assume. And I won't bore you with a lot of the gathering days, so the videos m might be coming in a little bit more spurts. I'll be doing more mod videos, and as patches come out, I'll be doing th those like this. So I wish I had an assistant to work with the handcuffs, but equip onto an unconscious player um, two, and they'll be restrained when they wake up. Okay. So they have to be unconscious. I have a perfect person for that. So, though she won't be awake, so I don't know how good that would be. <laughs> She's both sleeping in game and real life at the moment. Shh. I'm mischievous. Come on, but so come on, sweetheart. Eat that last one. Eat it. Eat it. There we go. 
Casteroids. Like a large mammal, uh, mammalian herbivore, they tend to live near water. Unlike other larger beaver species, this one retains the chisel-shaped teeth of modern beavers. As, it typi as is typical for beaver, uh, beavers, they build dams as habitats, but the larger creatures of the island have a tendency to trample them. This is a result of finding unsullied dams in the wild a quite rare. Castroids themselves don't seem to realize how dangerous the island is. I don't know if it's uh, simply too dumb to notice the dangers or if it just doesn't care. But castroids happily go about the day play playing on in the water and gnawing on wood. The value of tame castroids is obviously from its physiology. The creature naturally gathers wood extremely efficiently and more than most species on the island. It's not the strongest creature, so it can only carry limited amounts, but it is a natural lumberjack. Okay, and that looks like it's it. It's herbivore friendly for the most part, so it won't attack you unless you attack it, of course, which it did attack me, so. Okay, let's go ahead and get the saddle slapped on and check this out a little bit. Okay. So yeah, um, when you go into its inventory now with the saddle attached, you can see that it does have all the crafting smithy items, which is kind of cool. Now I don't need an actual forge, or a smithy rather, because it has it. Um, I did read something else that was pretty interesting. Um, not only do they transport their items at 20% of the weight cost, they will gather wood on wander and they act as a smithy. So those are some of the main things that are pretty awesome about it. And like I said before, they take um, Gallimimus kibble to make. Their dams in the wild actually have several different items in them. Um, do, 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 do. Trying to remember exactly what all the dams entailed. I did read a little bit on it. Um, what was it? They have wood, pearls, um, rare flowers, and several other items. Um, there it is. Wild castroids build dams and contain large quantities of wood, cementing paste, rare flowers, and mushrooms and silica pearls. So yeah, you can get a lot of items from the dams, but be careful because they will attack you in groups if you do access those dams. So let's go ahead and ride this around, see how fast it goes on land. Uh, it's decently okay, it looks like. Um, swims about the same speed that it rides but it does not take any stamina in the water okay let's go ahead and check its wood gathering capabilities okay yes it does gather a lot of wood and it gathers the thatch too and it gathers berries does the okay right click has no additional function so but it does definitely gather quite a bit of wood on one hit even at a low level so I can only imagine at a high level what it would give you so there is that if you look at it all the weight is highly reduced at 20% of the cost. So you lose 80% um, of the wood's weight. 400 weight and it's only costing at 40. Normally 50, uh, 100 wood is 100 weight. So keeping everything on the beaver and keeping the beaver with you is highly valuable. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to go ahead and get this back to the base and I will see you guys there so we can do a little bit further testing for. Um, the animals that can pick it up and all that fun stuff so I'll see you back there
And we're back to the base and about to land. There's my greenhouse. Okay, let's go ahead and land this. And grab my bird to see if it can pick it up first. Okay, it looks like Argents can pick it up. I'm assuming Pteranodons won't ever be able to pick it up. So um, I'm so you are safe with grabbing them with Quetzals um, and Argents alike. And that will give you a mobile smithy wherever you're working at. If you're doing um, PvP or something and you need to rebuild something really fast or repair anything that's short of flak, then this is your thing. I do like how they're making all the organic creatures have special abilities like the Demetrodons having the heat resilience, which is really cool because then you can have mobile heaters basically, and as well as incubations no matter where you're at. And you can place most of these animals on Quetzals and keep them moving and they can defend themselves so things won't be destroyed nearly as easily. I can't do anything with the handcuffs, but maybe in a future video we can show that. Um... Here's a kitten, so let's see how we do this. Oh, that's exactly how you do it. So once she wakes up, her hands will snap together and she will be stuck. And I don't think she'll be able to remove them herself. So that should be fairly interesting. <laughs> a little bit of shenanigans there. Okay. Well, guys, I believe that'll conclude this episode. Thanks for watching. If you did like the episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share in favor with your friends. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more daily videos. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to respawn.